So guys, I am back with another How Divers 2 video. And today guys, we go over the latest major order, what it means to the player, what you should be doing first, a showcase of the two stratagems seemingly on offer here, depending on what you liberate first, and much more. Let's get into it, people. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, now the winner of my previous 2100 super credit giveaway you can see on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys want to win a copy of this game of How Divers 2 for yourself or a friend or 2100 super credits? It's as simple as this. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Let's try and reach 51 likes. That would be unbelievable. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. I will pick a winner from the comment section of this video and announce it on my next How Divers 2 video. So good luck, everybody. Okay, so where do we start here? So the new major order is on offer in game, but actually this story started yesterday. How Divers on Twitter tweeted out this. This is Managed Democracy Manifest, with obviously two calls for stratagems. Which one do you pick? Now this kind of gave players a little clue into what was going down here, but today guys they dropped a brand new well, mini trailer for the Major Order, which you're seeing on screen now. And they say, and I quote, uh, Major Order, Howl Divers, it's time to choose between liberating Chu, I believe that says, or Penta. Depending on your choice, you will receive either the MD-17 anti-tank mines or the RL-77 airburst rocket launcher. And you'll save the citizens. Don't forget the citizens. Again guys, two stratagems on offer here. It seemingly we get to pick between one or the other. The anti-tank mines or the airburst rocket launcher. Luckily for you, I have snippets of gameplay of these two stratagems in action, which we'll check out in a quick second. But firstly, onto the major order in-game. Let's check that out. So we can see it states, major order. Brave surviving citizens on Chu and Penta may still be saved along with the weaponry they have continued to develop. Only the first planet to be liberated is likely to still have any surviving personnel or equipment. Choose democratically. Order overview, liberate Chu and Penta. With a choice right there being the two planets. Now in my opinion, before we even check out the actual stratagems and what they offer, Penta is definitely the one we want to be liberating first because that airburst rocket launcher looks an absolute shit ton of fun to be using. Don't get it twisted. The anti-tank mines will be, obviously for some people's preference, the stratagem they want. But in my opinion, you can't go wrong with that airburst rocket launcher. And when you see this thing in action, if you haven't already, well, you'll see for yourselves why it looks so damn good. Now with this major order, we do have basically three days for me making this video to get this done. And as I make this video, there's a little bit of liberating to do before we get on to Penta or Chu. But either or the community as a whole has to come together to decide on what to do first. Again, Penta is my goal to pick. Okay, so let's actually check out the stratagems on offer here. And first up, we'll check out the anti-tank mines. Now, thanks to Emptiness for the gameplay of this and actual details on what these do and what they offer in-game. So you can see it has a call in of 9 seconds, a cool down of 180 seconds. He states they offer very high damage, heavy armor penetration with a 5 meter explosion radius on each mine and can't kill those above ground obviously so any flying uh, enemy these will not take down. Now these mines he states have a very high damage of 1000 and an AP armor penetration of 5. For comparison the Quasar Cannon has a damage of 650 and an AP of 6, while Bio Titan's heads have 900 HP and require AP of 5 to be able to damage them. So these anti-tank mines are quite useful, I'm not going to lie, uh, but I think they're only for certain scenarios and situations. I mean, like I said, they will match and suit certain people's play styles, but for me, they are limited in what they offer and what they do, and again, Although they do take out larger targets and do so with 
crazy force. It is said that they actually need a heavier enemy to trigger the mines. Now, I can't confirm this. Obviously, I haven't tested these myself yet. They ain't in-game yet. But from what I've read from people who have tested these is they require a heavier enemy to stand on before the mines may go off. So, yeah, keep that in mind, too. So, what about the Airburst Rocket Launcher? What do these indeed offer? But firstly, a few details. They have a calling time of 3 seconds. Yeah, cool. Cool down time of 480 seconds. Huge air of effect and great damage on off here with this stratagem. Medium arm penetration is what they offer. Ammo is a 1 plus 5 in your backpack. A refill will give you 3 in regards to supplies. And ammo on the ground will give you a plus 1 to these rockets. Now range is a 350 meter till it explodes mid-air and sending smaller cluster bombs, uh, well basically within a small vicinity, that also explode mid-air. They also immediately explode when something is near the rocket projectile. So if you fire and miss an enemy by a, I don't know, a couple of feet or so, they should still explode and then let off that cluster of other little explosions, which do seem to get to work and you'll see these on screen now. Again guys, in my opinion, the Airburst Rocket Launcher is the one we should be going for. We should be liberating Penta first because we really don't want to be missing out on this amazing looking stratagem. I know some people will try and compare this to the Quasar Cannon, but it is a lot, a lot different on what these offer. In my opinion, just do way more damage and although they are limited by the ammo you pick up, you don't get unlimited shots like you do in the Quasar Cannon. Still, you had to pick between the anti-tank mines and this. You've got to go with this, guys. You really have. Now, when I first saw the leaked uh, gameplay of the actual uh, the Airburst rocket launcher, I only thought it would shoot enemies in the air. Airburst. I thought, yeah, this is for air enemies. Because at the time we got these leaks, at the time players were pulling these out of the actual files and putting them into the game, before this even, we only saw them shooting at enemies in the air. They can actually shoot at targets on the ground too. They still work the same. They still do just as much damage. And the air of effect with these is absolutely brutal. So in my opinion, guys, the one to go for is Penta and the Airburst Rocket Launcher. But hey, it isn't just down to me. It's down to our community as a whole. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in that comment section. But there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.